Thanks for clicking on the link. Feel free to like, dislike, share, or subscribe. I plan on doing some other firearms related videos in the near future that you may or may not find interesting. This video is concerning my experience with Remington Arms warranty service during the 2020 pandemic. So late September of 2020, I contacted Advanced Armament Corporation to have a warranty repair done on an AAC SDN6 30 caliber suppressor. The ratchet latch teeth have worn down, not allowing the suppressor to fully lock up on the mounts anymore. In speaking with AAC, they assured me that they could get it repaired under warranty without any issues. They were extremely friendly over the phone. Uh, they sent me a shipping label within a couple of minutes of the conversation, so I really can't complain about their customer service. Two weeks later, I contacted AAC to get a status update. I was informed that they were waiting on parts to come in and that my suppressor would most likely be returned to me in 13 to 16 weeks. So today is December 2nd, 2020. And last week I received an email with tracking number from AAC. Two days later, the suppressor was delivered, accompanied by this letter from Remington Arms, who is the parent owner of Advanced Armament Corporation, stating that the suppressor was not repaired and that any firearm or suppressor sent to them will be returned without service due to the bankruptcy. They are nice enough to apologize for the inconvenience. And also let me know that if I actually want to use my suppressor, I need to source a qualified silencer repair service to have it fixed. So I just wanted to let people know that it seems like Remington and any of their subsidiary companies warranties are pretty much null and void. If you have a firearm that needs to be repaired, probably don't want to bother sending it to them because it sounds like it'll just be returned to you without service. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Remember your Second Amendment rights are always under attack. Every gun law is 100% unconstitutional. So thanks again.